Hello everybody and welcome to The Sims 4 Real Estate. I'm your host Tabby and today we're going to be doing The Lord Vadislaus Castle by Schlein Heilig 1603. This is amazing. This castle is worth $696,659. It is a 64 by 64 lot with four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. <laughs> wow. It is on a vampire nexus uh, trait and it is breezy and haunted. It has seven floors in total and it is amazing when i saw this on the gallery i said i have to feature this <laughs> like wow the only sad thing is it's too big to actually go into the forgotten hollows but i still think it's amazing you can find some lots big enough to house it in windenbrook and i think that windenbrook would be good enough for because it, it has a kind of german feel to it or a Transylvania feel and I think that neighborhood is definitely uh, would match a house like this also if your graphics can't handle it <laughs> it's rough but um let's go inside the first thing you'll see is the mist that is so cool um, you can tell they probably use a lot of basement because you the sky disappears automatically you're immediately uh, plunged into darkness, which gives it an even more mysterious feel. I was like, wow, look at this bridge. I hadn't seen a house like this. This is this is nuts. You have so many like little statues, like a little entry, but wait until y'all get into the 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 main part of the house. Look at this guys. This main part is so cool. The views here is just, you can make a whole movie out of this. Definitely a whole movie. The lot itself has so many different views in it that each place that you, that you sit in and look at is good enough to make something out of it. Like filming, can you imagine making a, a vampire Sims video out of this house? It'll be perfect for those type of shots. You have your little coffins. So that's kind of like the first bedroom in my opinion. But I don't think it's counted as one. Because it's not really a bed. But kind of is. What well, caught my eye is this breathtaking view. But let's go back upstairs. I mean, as soon as you walk in, you see. And the color is this gray and brown. The drabness is just... It's drab, but also really stylish. Like a castle. And look at this bridge. It kind of reminds me of the movie Van Helsing, where uh, the vampire lived in the of a bridge like this. So we go even deeper. And again, the sky is totally gone, but yet you still feel like you're outside. I think it's a little greenhouse out here. I don't really know what you can grow in it. That's something that you have to note, though, is when you go inside of it, uh, it doesn't really collapse. So I don't know if it's made out of windows, but. It doesn't collapse. Okay, let's go back up. I just had to take another look at this. Uh, that bridge is insane. We're gonna walk across it and go to the back of the house later on in the video. But yeah, let's go back into the house and explore some more of this place. Okay, so now we're in the main area. It is so red and I love the way the colors pop. The red and the black just go so good. You have your, the, the pictures in the top parts. I believe some of these pictures are augmented to be a little bit bigger. But overall, uh, no custom content. It's just a little bit of alterations that still add to the house. Now let's shout out this dining room. Dining room is actually pretty small for such a giant house. But I figure they're vampires. So like you don't need a giant dining room. Mostly for like meetings and guests. I love the colors though. And the barn doors was uh, really uniquely made. This is our first bathroom. Vampires don't usually need a bathroom either. But it has seven of them. <laughs> which I think is kind of cool. 
another thing to know about this house is that you saw again you don't get much ceilings like the ceilings disappear as soon as you go in but this library area is so cool so your ceilings are going to disappear when you uh download the house and your walls will disappear as well right now i'm using um first person so i can see the walls but when you do it yourself if you're actually playing it the walls will disappear that's why i said it's a really good house for making movies in because we make movies you keep the walls up so yeah but we, if you're just playing it the ceilings and the walls do disappear <laughs> so just letting you know it's like playing with um with no walls up at all all right so let's go up to the upstairs there's so many levels you can actually get turned around in this house I have one of my vampire girls living here right now in my sims game this ballroom is so cool I love that it's full of mirrors because as you know in the game vampires don't have a reflection not at all and so of all these mirrors is kind of like a really a, a good play on the whole vampire lore because they won't be able to even see themselves now this bathroom it might gave me some lag when I was filming but it is so gorgeous I love this bathroom look at this guys I love how whimsical it looks the gray with the mirrors I want this for my real human life bathroom it's one of my favorite bathrooms I love the candles on the floor it's just it's beautiful all right so this is the first bedroom this is kind of like the master bedroom or one of the master bedrooms to me uh it's i love how it's got a little chest in the side so you know you're rich when you live in this house you're a rich vampire i would definitely see moving vlad into from the forgotten house into this house right now i actually have his daughter i made a daughter with um him in my game and I have his daughter living here and I made her like kind of rich like really rich and it matches my uh, story plot really fun for the game now I can't wait to show the even further upstairs level because it's got so much going on look at this but this is actually the views though but let's go to our bedroom this bedroom is really small but I had to show it to you I'm not gonna show you each one because they all look the same you can see it's more going down there but that view this view is amazing it's just as beautiful as the gray one i thought it was further up so you can see i'm already kind of turned around but this is the one i was talking about this view is gorgeous i love these inner views of this house the reds and the blacks are just amazing i think you would enjoy looking at these a lot when playing this game and the little stretches of bridge work even inside the house is wow you find a little bit of cobwebs here and there which really adds to the character i think that's the main thing i liked about this house was the character involved in it it's not boring that's the thing i like it's not boring at all because look that's like a window mirror <laughs> like a window mirror <laughs> of actual curtains so we're back in the dining room and this is how you get to the kitchen we'll come back to the kitchen later so let's go back upstairs we can even still see the steam <laughs> and don't feel bad with getting turned around I am already turned around <laughs> but I want to take it all the way up to the top floor it is the very tippity tippity top floor and it's not really many rooms but you can fill them and you can actually go around I love they added that because in the in Vlad's house in the Forgotten uh, Hollows the original you have a lot of like places up here look at this view this view is awesome you kind of look at the back of the house but it's really cool so you can kind of walk around the original um house you can walk around the top area and the top area is like a porch and this one has that too and this is kind of what adds the seven stories to it all these towers 
this tower i feel like it's big enough to pose a uh, house another bathroom or like maybe in a little kids room or a tub room maybe even a hot tub oh i can see putting a hot tub in that tower the towers right now are kind of empty this is another ballroom this ballroom is not as pretty as the uh, one downstairs but you can make it pretty like add things it can even be another bedroom so this house i mean you can you have you can fit like eight sims easy in this house now the lag would be rough but you can still do it if your computer can handle it you can still do it now we're back to that bridge i was talking to y'all about walking across this bridge is so cool you got two gargoyles uh stopping the entrance right there the steam i still don't know how the creators of this house made that steam because i'm saying like where is it coming from <laughs> let's go back in it's also haunted so like whenever the no ghost showed up in this tour but like that is so cool imagine like you're walking through this giant house and a ghost pops up like actually i actually felt a little bit of suspense when walking through this this place it's like i'm actually a little bit nervous like one's gonna pop out at me because it's so big now let's make a cake i figured we make a black and white cake to match this black and gray house the kitchen's pretty modern it kind of reminds me of a chef's kitchen or somewhere you can see like um like Gordon Ramsay or something <laughs> working in one of those professional kitchens. Like I can see this owner like of this house like hiring a cook. He's a vampire. He doesn't eat. He or she does not eat. Right now it's a, it's a girl living here. But they don't eat. They're vampires. And so they don't really need food. So I can see it staying really sterile and sometimes having for like guests. Like hiring chefs to come in. And then never using it again as the vampire because <laughs> they don't cook. Black and white cake turned out gorgeous. Like, look how it matches. Let's take it back to the dining room. It just matches everything. Even matches this room. Though it's red in here, it still matches. Now, that was fun. I had to show this view again. This basically concludes the tour of this house. But as y'all can see, it's giant. So let's head back on out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, definitely check it out if y'all see it. I'll leave the name of the creator in the description below because it's so cool. Again, it's called Lord Vadislaus Castle. And uh, yeah, tell me in the comments what do y'all think about this place? Is it amazing? I mean, yeah, look at it. Look at that. It's even grand. This will be a movie maker's fantasy. Gorgeous views, gorgeous sights. I'm in love with it. I think it's great. Very gothic castle. So tell me in the comments if y'all like it. And I will talk to y'all guys later in the next vid. See ya. Bye. <laughs>